Hi, welcome to the Bike Fit Blog Series Part 7. In this post, we'll take a quick look at the Dartfish video software that Masterfitter Hussam Sahin also uses. Dartfish is another amazing piece of technology that enables Hussam to determine if cycling posture and pedaling mechanics need improvement. Dartfish reveals problems with joint motions and displays pre and post positions simultaneously using overlay functions that can fade in and out. The software can also show if changes made to the bike affect technique or dynamic fit. For example, how an increase in seat height can increase ankle plantar flexion. Between Dartfish and Retool, Hussam is able to provide a perfect bike fit and more often than not solve problems his customers have endured, sometimes for years on end. In this post, Hussam also riffs on choosing a bike frame. Can you talk a little bit about how using this, how you approach picking a frame for someone as opposed to someone reacting to like a marketing, like a heavily marketed bike that's familiar, how you use the data to steer people to what they need? First of all, for us, the most basic uh, um, piece of information about frames are comfort and for that, the most important part is to so if the top tube is workable, the next issue is to find out if the, if the rider has a femur size that's out of range. So that, that complicates the fit. But most our applications and the customers uh, fit bicycles that are not custom. Mm -hmm. Personally, professionally, I don't believe in custom geometry frames. Because for me, there are, there are prototypes, and I don't feel comfortable uh, putting people on prototypes. Because there's a lot of handling issues for uh, with any custom frames that I have with this so far. I'd rather put you in a, in a bike that has basic heritage and well-established engineering rules and, and design. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, otherwise, it's just it's very difficult to get comfortable on a custom bike when you push the limits of the bike, especially. Mm -hmm. You can toodle around coffee, donut coffee, but if you want to push the limits of the bike, you have to have a uh, well designed bike and also has some racing heritage. Similar thing with cars, actually, mm -hmm. but um, I don't feel comfortable putting people on custom frames. Okay. So that's so we, some, once in a while, every five years, once in a, every five years, someone shows up with um, properties, proportions that doesn't really comply with the already built bike, but that's very, very rare, actually. Um, the other things that we have to satisfy is the vertical compliance and, uh, and um, also stiffness of the bike, lateral stiffness. Also, we, all, the way we set the bike up also um, changes the characteristics of the frame a little bit. So this is the part that we customize. We don't really customize the frame. Mm -hmm. But we customize the ride on the bike by using different component groups and different, uh, different wheels, different uh, tires. TPI rating, the temp you know, temperature rating, pressure rating, and also type of uh, wheels, rims, and the structure of the wheel helps a lot to satisfy a lot of needs for riders. It's rather complicated, but you know, if you really listen to your customers, you know, it's easier to make the, uh, the final product uh, suitable for all the needs. Thank you.